solve quadratic equations by factoring. In these next examples, we're just going to solve these quadratic equations using the factoring method. Now, in these first two equations, I have already factored it out for you. So what we're going to do is we have 0 equals 4t plus 1 times t minus 2. So what we have to do is we, if we set 0 equal to either one of them, then the whole thing is 0. So what I'm going to do is 4t plus 1 equals 0, and t minus 2 equals 0. And then I just have to solve for t, so I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, leaving me with 4t equals a negative 1. Then I divide by 4. So what I have would be t equals a negative 1. And the next one, I have to solve for t on the next problem. Add 2 to both sides, leaving me with t equals 2. So my final answer is t equals negative 1 or t equals 2. Those are your two answers. For this next problem, same thing. I'm going to set each individual factor equal to 0. So giving me x plus 3 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. So then if I'm solving, I'm going to just subtract the 3 from both sides, leaving me with x equals a negative 3. And the other one, I'm going to subtract the 2 from both sides, leaving me with x equals a negative 2. So your final answer is x equals negative 3 or x equals negative 2. That's your final answer. For these next ones, we're going to have to actually factor and then solve just like we just did. So for the first thing, we're going to make sure that it is set equal to 0. Since we're already set equal to 0, we can just start factoring from here. We're going to say 0 equals whatever. Since this is a 1 coefficient, we can just factor it out like we know how to do it. So it's x and x. My second sign is positive, so they're both going to be the same. Both going to be positive. So I'm going to have x plus and x plus. And then from there, I need to figure out what I need to put in here. So I'm going to come over here and do my factoring of 15. 1 times 15, uh, 3 times 5. Okay, and then they need to add together to get 8, positive 8. So that would be 3 and 5. So I'm going to put in 3 and 5. So now I'm solving 0 equals x plus 3 3 x plus 5 by setting each of them equal to 0. So I have x plus 3 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0. So I'm subtracting 3 from both sides, leaving me with x equals a negative 3, or I subtract 5 from both sides. leaving me with x equals a negative 5. So those are your two possible answers. For this last example, we want to first solve for 0 and then see how we can factor out. So what I'm going to do is subtract 28 from both sides. So giving me 4x squared minus 49, which equals 0. So now I want to factor this out. I should recognize this is a difference of squares. So we know how to factor this special case. We're going to have whatever, the square part plus whatever, and then the minus version. 
and that's going to be set equal to zero. So I just need to figure out what goes in here. The next part here, I'm looking at my 4x squared, which is the same thing as saying 2x squared. And then we're subtracting off the 49 part, which is just 7 squared. So 2x goes in the first slot, and the 7 goes in the second slot. So 2x plus 7 times 2x minus 7 equals 0. Setting both of these equal to 0, I just solve. 2x plus 7 equals 0 is going to give me negative 7. 2x minus 7 divide by 2, divide by 2, and x equals negative 7 over 2. The other part is 2x minus 7 equals 0. So you add the 7 this time, and we have 2x equals 7 divide by 2, leaving us with x equals 7 over 2. So those are your two possible answers. Those are your notes over solving quadratic equations using the factoring method. Go through some practice problems. Make sure you can do these different types of problems, and then you should be ready for your quiz over this material.